Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to factory reset your Sensei Smart Thermostat ST55 and how to set it back up and connect it to Wi Fi so you can control it from your phone. So if you've lost connection here, you will no longer see a Wi-Fi logo on your Sensei Smart Thermostat ST55. We don't see that, so in order to get it reconnected, we need to factory reset it. And you could also need to factory reset it if you've moved into a new home with one of these, or you've moved out of your home, and you wanna get rid of all the personal information. So the first step to factory resetting this is you need to pull it off the mount, just grab it on the sides, and you're gonna pull it right off the mount and then you need to turn this device over. And when you do that, you're gonna see two batteries here. And you need to remove these batteries and leave them removed for approximately two minutes. And while they're removed, you don't need to do anything with this. You can just wait two minutes and then you're gonna put those batteries back in. And that is how you factory reset your Sensei Smart Thermostat ST55. Then after two minutes, you're gonna put the batteries back in and we're gonna show you how to get it set back up on your phone and how to get the Sensei Smart Thermostat connected to Wi-Fi. Once the two minutes are up, you can reinsert the batteries. Now underneath my thumb, there's a QR code. There's a couple numbers on that QR code and you need to write those down because you're gonna use those in a later step. It's also important to take a picture of your wiring because you will use these terminals and your wiring for a later step that we are doing in the installation and setup process. So take a picture of your thermostat wiring now. Now, I recommend putting brand new fresh batteries in if you're trying to get your Sensei Smart Thermostat ST55 connected and you haven't had it connected in a while. And that's because if the batteries are low, it will not let it connect to Wi-Fi. So we're gonna put in brand new batteries, and then we're going to attempt to reconnect this after we factory reset it by removing the batteries for two minutes. Now we've got the batteries in, and we're ready to reinstall this on the mount. So all we're going to do is take it, place it on the mount, and then push in place. Now that we've got it reinstalled on the mount, we're ready to connect it to our cell phone. And you can see something that happened here that means that this is ready to connect. We've got this little Wi-Fi signal here, which means now this is Wi-Fi capable. So what we're going to do is download and set up the Sensei app if you haven't already done so. Once you've downloaded and set up the Sensei app, it'll take you to this home screen. And sometimes just changing the battery will get your device to reconnect after it's been factory reset by removing the batteries for two minutes and then putting in brand new batteries. However, if that does not work, we'll show you exactly how to set up your Sensei Smart Thermostat. So here I'm going to click on the plus symbol and then I'm going to click on add a device. We're adding the Sensei Smart Thermostat ST55, so I click right there. And now I'm going to click new installation. You could just click connected to Wi-Fi if it was disconnected. However, there's no harm in doing a new installation as you can always delete the other thermostat that would have shown up in the app. So no harm there. We're going to click on new installation and it is currently mounted. Okay, we're going to click next through all of this, next. And now we need to pick what terminal wires we had attached. So refer back to that picture that you took of the terminals when you took off this from the device. So I know we have an R, W, G, Y, and I'm going to click next. Now I'm going to select the furnace type. We have a gas furnace, so I'm going to click next. It says pull the battery tag in attach cover. We've already done that. Click next, turn on the power, click next, start Wi-Fi radio. To do this, you're going to click menu, and then you're going to click connect down here. Now you're going to click next. Our display shows zero, zero. Now we're going to click next. Now we need to connect to our Sensei Smart Thermostat as its own Wi-Fi network. We connected to our Sensei Wi-Fi network and I'm just going to click here to continue. Now click Next. But if this screen didn't pop up, just go back to the Sensei app and click Next on this screen. And here's the next screen that pops up. 
once we connected to the Sensei Wi-Fi network, so we're connected to this thermostat itself, we need to enter that eight digit pin that we got earlier from the inside of the device where that QR code is. So I'm entering that now. Enter the QR code, pin number, and click next. Now select your Wi-Fi network, enter your password, and click join. Once we click next, it's configuring the thermostat. Now we need to name our thermostat. Click on Sensei, click Next. Now we can have it locate us or enter our address manually, so I'm gonna enter the address now. Now I'm going to click Next. Now I'm going to click Next. Registering your thermostat. Setup is complete. Now you can see our Sensei Smart Thermostat ST55 is connected. So we factory reset this device by removing the batteries for two minutes. And then to set this up, we recommend that you install new batteries so that you get a full battery indication right there up in the corner. And as you can see, our Wi-Fi is connected right here and we are connected on the app as well. You can see if we make that change on the thermostat or on the app itself, it will go up. So let's turn it up a little bit more and you can see then it's gonna go up to 91 here in a second. So now our Sensei Smart Thermostat is connected. You can also verify that you have the Wi-Fi by looking right here and we've got that Wi-Fi signal. We've got our full battery over there. And then our menu button and mode is what we pressed to get this into a pairing mode, but it will not pair if the battery is low. So if you're having those issues, I recommend that you try putting new batteries in this so that it will power up and properly connect to the Sensei app. Sometimes when you put new batteries in, if it is properly programmed, it will automatically reconnect to the app and your network as soon as those new batteries are in but not always is that the case. But it's a good idea if you want to factory reset this so that you could set it back up on your phone or a new account. You just remove those batteries for two minutes, put new batteries in, and then you are good to go. So thank you for watching this video on how to factory reset your Sensei Smart Thermostat ST55 and how to set up your Sensei Smart Thermostat ST55. If you liked this video, if it was helpful, please give us that thumbs up but most of all, subscribe or click any of the links below to support us. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.